BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Bedroom, Boudin Cajun Meat, and guess what? We got, a, we got an old familiar face coming and visit with us and give us a fish report on Fall River. Oh, I thought I was just coming here to get some toilet paper. You might have to, it's hard to find. You're going to come to the bedroom? You might have to get some meat and your stuffed chicken. I know. Like you always love. But look, uh, let me start over. I'm going to tell you, I'm Gary Rusponi. I'm Gary Krause. And Gary Krause, man, I'm telling you. Been a while. Gary, you know, you all have your own show and you cut back. But you told me the other day that you're going to go back and fish in more yourself. I and have, have some fun. I didn't wait very long. I've been fishing out of Bay Black, been fishing uh, several times at Falls River, believe it or not. Uh, haven't made it to Toledo Bend, but the fish are biting up there, cycle, the bass, everything's on the bank. We're gonna bring that to you on the fishing report. When we come back, we're gonna see how much time we got, but we're gonna make another visit with Chad. Right now, that's one of the places in uh, Coastal that there's a lot of fish being caught. I got a long fishing report and an event calendar. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. From Bedroom, Boudin, and Cajun Meat. Why choose barbecue guys? Because this is barbecue guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together. But we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and Gary, it's March and April. Counters full, bass tournaments are busting out all over. We got right. a few reports in bass tournaments, but main thing with the calendar coming up, man, they just chocked us full. They got so many events on the same days, it's just unbelievable. Uh, you just told me I had it written down about the, the elite that's going to be in uh, at Chickamauga. In Tennessee. Tennessee. They postponed the tournament till a later date. Uh, so Derek Hudnall and Caleb and the guys are all headed back home and they'll start getting set up for the next one. Right. Just like everybody else, they're right. trying to avoid crowds. Right. This, this coming weekend, they got Friday, they got the CCA Sporting Clays. We usually go every year at Covered Rides. Uh, they got a morning and afternoon flight. Uh, also Saturday, same place at the Covered Rides. They got the the 18th annual Louisiana Sporting Clay Classic uh, that benefits Shortwell Center for Autism. Uh, that thing will be running all day on March 21st. So you, you, you got any questions, uh, just call Covered Rise or, or Chatwell Center or, for Autism. And go to their website. Uh, but I just want to remind people that turkey season is on us. Uh, the youth turkey season in Louisiana for youth and the physical challenge is March 28th to 29th. So that's the following week. On March 27th, again, Falls River Cookie Jar starts up on Thursday night, $40 instant fee, 7 p.m. to midnight, Storm Randall. They got his number on the screen, 225-937-0489. Or just 
pay at the store at Louisiana Express, leave your money there, put it in your boat, and go to the way in. You ever fished at night, Tony? Nope, not well, years and years ago. Did a couple of times. I've been there and covered it covered because Storm and them do a great job. Put it this way. It's been so long, I had uh, flashers for depth finders. Now with side scan, you can find the tops and stuff, you have a much better chance. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, yeah, Storm Randall, you know, for years I called him Stormy Daniels. The, 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 uh, okay. the infamous woman. Now, March 28th to 73, annual, 73rd annual Big Bass Rodeo Festival. I know you've been with me yep. over there with the festival. Uh, registration 6 a.m. They fish from 6.30 to 11 a.m. Uh, they got kayaks, they got festivals, they're people fishing off the bank, they got their high school tournament, rodeo, you know, for local high school, so it's a big deal. Uh, you see, we got almost two pages. Also yeah. on March 28th, we got the ninth, ninth annual one-man shoot. That's the where the shirt come from, you see that, huh? Uh, it's at Riverside Sporting Clays. That's uh, benefits Tulane Medical Research for prostate cancer. That's in Watson, Highway 61. They got, it'll go on all day from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. They got, you see this right here? Uh, <laughs> the Center of Fly Fishing, 101. That's a big deal. The Brook, Brook Fowler, uh, what's that word, Claire? Brook Fowler. Holden? Holiday. Hatchery. John Stokes Road. Oh, right? yeah. Brook, hatchery. Yeah, Brook hatchery. Fowler at the Hatchery. That's what I'm going right now. You ought to have somebody Chris type Sanders that out. Come on, guys. Oh, well, I got you here. March, March 28th. Uh, yeah, they're going to have that. That's all day, boy. And they got fly time casting. They got anything you want to know over there. March 28th, Policiana Wildlife Expo. That's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. LSU Ag Center. Bob Jones, out of Wild Research. And then uh, St. John Parish Bass Trailer Tournament. Uh, I'll be there probably at MC, the way in. That's at the Reserve Canal, right down the road, St. Jude. Their tournament has been going on at St. James Boat Club. Uh, you contact Jacob Heath. Uh, another one has come in, Amy Catfish Rodeo, from April 3rd at 5 p.m. to April 4th at 2 p.m. That'd be at Fred's on the river. All right, one thing you want to check with the governor's proclamation of no more than 250 people. We they canceled well, Louisiana Sportsman Show. For any event, check Facebook, social media, the website, just to make sure that things hadn't been postponed or canceled. Yeah, I, I, Chris was telling us too. You also heard right now the police and the wildlife has been postponed. So we'll be right back with. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Paradise, Louisiana, and Gary, this is our rodeo and tournament report. I don't see too many 
saltwater tournaments. And, and again, you got to watch the news and find out some of them might be canceled. But uh, there's a, I, I saw an article the other day that said, what to do when you're locked up? Maybe don't, you want to really get outside, say the safest thing is maybe get in your boat and go fishing. That's right. How about that? Get, get so, away from everybody. Tell, tell us about the Kiwanis tournament because I, I know in the fish report you got some, <laughs> yeah, some very, we, uh, very good things. But, but that tournament fooled everybody because all week, we had even, dense, even up to Saturday. We had dense fog. We had cloud cover. We had wind on the days during the week. Saturday morning for the tournament, bright sunshine no wind and it totally changed everything sunday morning sunday morning yeah that's right so <laughs> only 15 pounds the team of watson and scallion won the kiwanis no, at false bad. river three pound average but on a bad day but what we had caught the two days before just scouting and fishing was a third better than that 20 pound stringers well, so seen, the bright sunshine I've seen what changed you it. held up in your hands a big fish you were throwing around I, that looked yeah. that looked like almost a twenty pound string. That's, yeah, That's a third more. Four, four to five pound average. So, right. Yeah. Well, you know, it was a busy weekend for the high school kids and the, and the juniors. Uh, first one I got a report: the Manshack Public Land in North Pass come from the Junior Southwest Bass Masters. Thanks again to the bros. These kids still caught fish. A lot of those kids went up to Caney, and we're gonna give you that report too. Yeah. To fish to qualify, you know, for the national tournament, setting up. Uh, the first place for the uh, 15, 18 year olds was Brent LeBeau from Bruley, and, and then uh, second place was Peyton Mathern from Walker, and then third place was Carson Grandier from Addis. Big Bass was Trent Le LeBeau. This is the story. The 11 and 14 age blew everybody away. They, Jim told me they had an adult tournament way in the end of Atlanta, and they were watching these kids, these 13, 11 and 14 year old kids coming in, and they had these stringers. There were over 10 pounds of them guys were saying, Why do you see a catch a fish? So let me give you that. First place was Jackson Rogers, Dental Springs, 11.83. Sec uh, second place, these are names you hear all the time Caden Sellers. From Denham Springs, and third place was Joshua Shockley. Big Bass was uh, Jackson Rogers. So that's some good cuts. On a seven to ten year old, Noah Roblin from Denham Springs, uh, second Anthony Tapia from Walker, and third place was Ava Shockley from Independence. Big Bass, Noah Roblin. Out of division, first place was uh, Todd Rogers. Thank you again to the brothers for doing that. And a lot of their, their buns and other high school people, they went up fishing Caney Lake. You just knew there was going to be some big strings. Caney Lake, how many yeah. state records they got in the top 10? I mean, they got a bunch. But they're starting to catch big fish out of Caney again. It's got grass coming back. They worked really hard. All those carp they dumped into the lake have gone to the higher fishing grounds. Yeah, you know, so I'm, it's coming back. I'm here. They catch them big tinker fins. And Sackler again up there yep. too. But look, uh, I got, almost got to read this to you in a little bit. Thanks to you, for, uh, Eugene Hoover. Uh, look, Hoover's been tremendous at keeping this stuff going and going around. He's a former principal and coach from Lutcher, and uh, he's one of my good friends. Uh, we even had a bad duck season, but he does a great job. Cooper Miller and Landa, football duck. Were the big winners. The Saturday's Louisiana Bass Nation High School out qualifying on Caney Lake. Uh, the young anglers representing Manny High School brought in five bass to the scale that weighed 19.6 pounds. That's, that's a four pound four average pound all day long. And uh, the big bass of the tournament weighed 9.73. That's what Gary said. They're getting ready to come out. It was caught by Hayden McKenzie of Walker High School. Uh, Hayden and his partner. Jaden Ragusa placed third in the tournament with five fish wins, 16-4. Second place went to Jace Martin and Matthew uh, Melita, Miliata, excuse me, that's Italian, I'll be ashamed of myself. Miliata from Lutcher High School with, but they have a four fish, they weighed 17 pounds. This, so uh, the team awards and everything went to Walker High School. Their top three weights weighed 42.82 pounds. 
the junior math mathematics division, Joey Dawson and Austin Richard of Benton Tiger Junior Fishing Team. They had five fish that weighed nine pounds. Thank you again, Eugene. That's the tournament. Now, again, we're going to be coming back to you with Berkeley I will go off see a fishing report. We're going to talk fall Here we're going to talk a little bit. Stay tuned. There you go. Yeah, I don't need you a lot. Why choose Barbecue Guys? Because this is Barbecue Guys. Not only do we have the largest online selection of grills and outdoor furniture, top-notch customer service, affordable financing, and 3D design services to help you tie it all together, but we also know what it is you love most about outdoor living. Time spent with family and friends. Combined with our expert advice, you'll have everything you need to design your dream outdoor life. Stop by our showroom today. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome back to Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish Report. Here's your chance to start, buddy. I miss you. I'm so glad you took some of this video. One of the best video arguments that any had got in the state. But now, uh, it's hard to do it when you try to catch him yourself, huh? Uh, it's hard to do it when Steve Fontana's in the boat with you. He ain't good around cameras. Uh, we catch a fish, I'm like, did we get it on camera? He says, oh, I hit the camera a while ago. I forgot to tell you. Fish Falls River in the spring, early summer. It is all about the shad. That's what they're feeding on. Shad are following the bait. And the fish are right there with them. Yeah, we're gonna come back and talk about Fox River. Let right. me give a let, let's give a shoreline report right now. Uh, I got a bunch of fish came in there and I'm talking about and you heard the same thing. Charles Williams, the Delacro, catching trout and red, says uh, guess what? Live shrimp under a cart. And then uh Frank, the fish cleaner over there at Delacro, he sent me some pictures. He's been doing a little guiding and having a little fun and catching fish. Uh, Frank Moore, he's there doing, doing a, a, a great job. Uh, yes, we got these reports coming in now. Our, our good friend, Jody Donwa. Yeah. Donwa, he, Out of he's Empire. back in Motor Grove. He's live shrimping them. He's catching, he got all his travelers finally coming in from all over the country to fish with him. He's fishing live shrimp in the interior bays. And uh, how about this one? This is a bass report. By you, Ben Benu. Mark Navo. My brim catching food right. over there in the slot area. Look, him and, and Ernie Frantatovich. I, I'm going to get bad on that name, huh? That ain't Italian, though. It's Frantatovich, the 50 bass. He, he threw most of the big ones back. They were full of eggs. He showed yeah. some pictures, uh, and they kept their limit. Uh, you talking about, he said it's some fun, all on spinner bait. And then, uh, Go ahead, what you been here in Delacroix and, and Hopedale? Todd Masson and Chris Macaluso went close to the Mardi Gras pass, got maybe a mile away from it, just to get outside that flow of cold water. They caught redfish, they caught bass. I think they even caught some trout, but there's plenty of clean water in the marsh. Just get outside where, of those. Where diversions. were they fishing again? Right outside of Mardi Gras pass, out of Delacroix. Uh, right on the other side of Oak River. Run yeah, up I and down the Oak shows, River. You know, and, and I, I talk to Sweetwater all the time. Jack and them have been catching fish. You know, they find the shallow water, but they've been catching them off the, off the ledges where right. the water is and the cold water and fishing right. on the bottom. Uh, they catch a few on plastic, but uh, they've been catching them on, 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 on some dead trout. You know, they're fishing yeah. mostly redfish. And they right. can't do a catch a few specks. Uh, but another thing in Hopedale, my good. My good friend Maurice Hurst, 
He's a Southern University legend. Played defensive back for the Patriots. Uh, him and uh, I call him Captain Jerry Labello. He does his own blog in there and gives a fish report on the internet. Jerry and them, they, they've been hurt to trout in the Redfish boat. They sent me a picture. Thank you. Uh, now, I got some bad news when I go to, I got to also pass. I got some bad news from uh, Grand Island Fushon. They were, we had heard of catching them people. Tommy Vitrine had been catching some big fish and wind lay down, catching some big trout. Uh, Spooky Chenier said he must have hit 30 places. Had shrimp, had patches, whatever. Places he went fishing. He don't know what it was. Found some clear water, but he could not catch anything. More than one or two trout. No redfish or anything. So didn't see no bait movement. I don't know what happened this past weekend. So that's why I got it now. Uh, Motor, like I told you, Motor Grove has been real good. And then my steady report is Island Marina and Lake Catherine. Six species of fish they're catching over there. They're not killing either one of them, all of them, but you're coming in with a box full of fish. A lot of live shrimp, you know, and all of them in the Island Marina. Uh, Captain Clint DeArmas, and here's some of the pictures of people, uh, fish they catching. And redfish are the constant, but they're catching, they, <laughs> they catching speck, redfish, bass, sheephead, flounder, and, and some river catfish with all that fresh water. Well, with the Pearl River having been so high from all the rains coming down out of Ross Barnett, there's a real strong pocket of cold, muddy water that's inundated the Wrigley's and part of it. So you got to get outside of that. Lake Pontchartrain's got some fish in it, mostly fish in the North Shore. Lake Catherine, if you get down the Chef, get into the buys and the runs that have the cleaner water. It's going to be warmer. There is grass in the marsh because I saw it three, four weeks ago when we were down there, and the fish are there. Yeah, you know the funny thing about it though? The river's high. My friend come from, my, my friend went to wildlife and fishes from Florida. He came to make a trip, him and his friends in Delacro. The tide was out. The river's high, mm -hmm. but it's the lowest water they saw in a while. Right. It also been on the tide. That's right. All right. This time, let me give them my little bass report. My bass report, I tell you, the best one was uh, Bayou Benvenue, you know, them fishing the spinnerbait over mm -hmm. there. Uh, the Sacolet, they've been, uh, they've been the Jack Millers. And you see that it's a landing, a lot of them. Yep. Uh, Bay Natchez, Pat Bay, all them areas. The landings are full, and you're catching good days and bad days. Uh, there's a little boat traffic, so you get some of them canals. Uh, the water was up, some of it's muddy, but later there down, it's not in the spillway. Gary, you saw the bass come from the spillway yep. during, the, during the tournament. These guys are knowing they're fishing, running west, whatever. As soon as that, wa that water keeps falling, right? we pass the river. It's still high, it's all the way down oh, yeah. from the levee, yeah. but it's falling. And if that water clears up, our river water here in Baton Rouge is starting to look clear. It's, it's so not swirling mud. The spillway, I've seen you run all over on Catch No Fish. I've seen sure. you go by yourself, go back in the spillway, go to Grand Lake, swing shoot somewhere, find some water movement, and catch fish. High but, water. Yeah. Where would you suggest? And in, if you catch Sacale right now, they're going to be in bunches in the spillway. Well, now, Barrett, you're going to catch big, not big ones, but they ain't going to no numbers. I'm not going to fish the spillway right now. The chapel at Beulah Rose is uh, just under 18 feet. So I'm going to, that's why I'm fishing Falls River, fish you must other places. go to the west side as good as so many people. No, I'm not going to run all the way to Generet. Okay. So all there's right. too many places closer by. Let's, let's go to your, your honey hole. Right all right. Now, it, now, I've been getting reports all over from Falls River, except for that day of the tournament. People well, the, call there are several things you have to consider if you're fishing Falls River. It's got to either be foggy or cloudy because the first 30 to 45 minutes of the day is what's going to make or break it. You need some wind, you want to fish a little bit of wind. Nothing drastic, you know, five to 10 knots, just to keep a good ripple on the waters because you're so close to the fish, you don't want them to spook. And it's all about shad. The shad are small, so what I've done is taken humdingers, modified them a little bit, uh, trimmed the skirts, little swim jig, anything small. 
but my favorite is the Berkeley Cutter 90. I can throw it in the wind. This is a shallow version. It suspends, and if you see the bottom, there's not a whole lot of paint left on it from all the fish. The other one is a little Berkeley Juke. Again, a little suspending crankbait, but it, it, the shad are actually following your bait. The school's a shad, and um, this is the size of the fish. They're small, and if you look at the way I modified the humdingers, want to put a little swim bait on it, I took all the gold blades off and put silver blades because that's what they want first thing in the morning. So they're up against the sea walls. The, the bass are not out on the flats. They're wanting to spawn. You want to, they had a, a lot of work done on the camps, on the sea walls, because they drew the lake down for two years in a row. So you've also got grasses growing on the exposed dirt. So now we've got a little bit of cover for the fry, cover for the bass to spawn in. You have to find a seawall that was not touched this fall. They've either piled granite out in front or they built new seawalls. You want to find a seawall that's got algae growing on it. What happens, right at daybreak, the shad will move up and feed on the algae and the bass come up and they're actually touching the wall, picking the shad off the seawall. Thank you. Appreciate you coming. That's just it. But let me tell you what, that's a great report. And other people were talking about, that's what you were talking about, the sheds a lot of times early in the morning. Any kind of wind, it's, it's, that's what makes a current. When the, when the river's not bank. running one way like spillway, you don't have tide. But let me tell you this, we need to get some compliment to the elected official in the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fishing for bringing that lake back. Them elected officials over there, you know, they got a lot of complaints bringing it down, doing this, they're bringing it back. God bless y'all. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. We ain't coming back. When are you going to take me fishing? I don't know. You don't, know. You don't want to come in on TV. They catch him. He catch him lying. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. See you next week. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.